He's talking about your thoughts and your intentions. That means everything you think of and about, uh, everything, you know, all of your thoughts about your beliefs and all of your beliefs about your thoughts. Every time that you feel like you are analyzing and evaluating your thoughts and beliefs, guess what? That's not even you. It's something else. So you come out swinging, basically, like chapter one, like you're not messing around. So you're just <laughs> laying out what you're going to do then. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so and, remind our audience uh, what, what you mean by scientific determinism. Okay. Uh, so scientific determinism comes from the presupposition that all that exists is nature. Um, so it stands to reason that if nature is all that exists, then everything, all events would be caused and determined by, say, the laws or forces of nature, uh, things that are not under the control or power of human beings. So if nature or physical reality is all there is, then a human's nature would also be causally determined by the same natural forces that cause or determine everything else. But if everything about a human is caused and determined by external factors, then this would imply that human beings do not possess the freedom to think or to act in a manner opposed to what physics and chemistry uh, determine or dictate. So, uh, you know, consequently, it, it would seem that human beings do not have genuine responsibility for their thoughts mm -hmm. or their beliefs that come from their thinking or their behaviors or their actions that follow their thinking. And, uh, when it comes to thoughts, I mean, even Sam Harris, the well-known atheist and neuroscientist, uh, arrives at that same conclusion. I mean, consider what he says about the very thoughts in your head, every one of them. He says, free will, and I quote this right away in the first chapter, Sam Harris says, quote, free will is an illusion. Our wills are simply, of not, are, are simply not of our own making. And then he says, thoughts and intentions, what you think of and about, right? Thoughts and intentions emerge from background causes of which we are unaware and over which we exert no conscious control. We do not have the freedom we think we have. Either our wills are determined by prior causes and we are not responsible for them, or they are the product of chance and we are not responsible for them, end quote. So he's talking about your thoughts and your intentions. That means everything you think of and about, uh, everything you know, all of your thoughts about your beliefs and all of your beliefs about your thoughts. Every time that you feel like you are analyzing and evaluating your thoughts and beliefs, guess what? That's not even you. It's something else. So, so uh, then did Sam, Har Sam Harris even write that book? Well, it would follow that he wasn't responsible for the book yeah. <laughs> and, and, and or the thoughts that he's uh, that he is conveying. It leads yeah. a lot of people, a lot of atheists to doubt the existence of, of themselves. I mean, it, it's really quite amazing that to yeah. ultimately reject the existence of God, many of them reject the existence of the self, the thing that they call I. Um, well, hey, God first. Really right? <laughs> What's that? I say God first. If you're going to reject God, then, hey, you're going to reject yourself next. It seems that's, you know, that's crazy conclusions then. Yeah, I talk about that in my book, too. Uh, and, and I quote some of these guys, like Alex Rosenberg. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's highly problematic. Cool. All right, so that's scientific determinism. So now explain.